Princess, what is going on? <sighs> Don't give me that. What is going on? Are you all right? My goodness. Someone like you, my lady, should not be in this state. What happened? I'm sorry now, you what? You went out. Why? <sighs> my princess. I understand being cooped up in here might not exactly be the most fun thing to do. I understand there's a very, very large world for you to explore and all that. But you must understand that this is not the time. Look, I know that this is difficult and stressful, but you, my princess, you've, you've grown up. It is time, well, soon to be the time where you have to understand the responsibilities of being born into royalty. <laughs> I know I am not your father, but I do wish for your success. If you really do want to go and see how the townsfolk are doing, please make a formal request. I and the others would love to accompany you, but you cannot be going alone like that. Because it is dangerous. That is not what I'm saying. I am aware you're strong. You are very strong. You are one of the strongest people I've ever met. But there are some things that I, as your personal servant, cannot let you do alone like that. Your family, they're wonderful people. But if something were to happen to you, I'd get, I don't know, executed. I did not say that either. I do care about you. Why wouldn't I? I know that my family has been serving yours for generations and generations, but to me, this isn't just, it isn't just a job. I, I do care, my princess. I would like you to know that. Growing up with you, it's always been really, really fun. And I understand you should be able to have fun at any age, but not like this. Here, let me just help you out. Did you fall down or something? Oh, okay, here. How are you feeling? I'm sorry, did I do anything wrong? Wait, why Why are you, are you crying? My princess, are you alright? Does it hurt? Oh, it does. Well, I'm sorry. I will immediately contact your doctor and your nurses and we will find a way to treat you without having it hurt. That's not... I'm sorry, I don't understand. It's about me. May I ask... What it's about? Like, what, what about me?
Princess. No, you did not. Are you serious? No, are you serious right now? You can't be. Oh my god. Oh my good lord. Why? Why would you do something so silly? You got yourself hurt so I can tend to you? Why? I'm... I mean, if you ever did need me, I'd always be here. You didn't have to do something so reckless. You want me to stay with you? Oh. It's, um... It's about that, isn't it? How... How'd you find out? I see. Calm down. You don't have to yell. I know. You demand me answer you. And your wish is my command. Yes, it, it is the truth. Um, I will be leaving very soon. I am resigning. I am formally quitting as your personal servant starting from next month. Princess, please. It... I did not wish to tell you because it would only make things harder. That's fair. That That is a fair point. But princess... <laughs> I have my reasons. Please. I know it is not right for someone as low as me to request this of you. But kindly, please. There is no need to inquire further. I am going to be resigning. And it's not your fault. No, please believe me. I have never been happier. And there is nothing more I'd want than to stay with you. To, to be with you. However... It's not that easy. There's a lot. A lot of things that make it just impossible for me. But please do know this is none of this is your fault. You've done nothing wrong. You've been nothing but the sweetest to me. I know you may have a lot of questions, but I, I do not believe I can answer them. <laughs> How did you find out? Who told you? You overheard me discussing this with your father. I see. Well, for the short amount of time I have left with you, I promise I will do 
anything and everything I can to help you. I've actually been training some other butlers and maids. They'll do just fine, princess. And like you said, you're strong and you're independent now. You've grown up. We've grown up. And I'm proud of you. I really am. Because I love you, my princess. More than, more than you would ever know. And in ways that is just isn't right. I'm your servant. I'm your personal helper. I do so much for you. And that's what I'm here for. And that's all I've ever been for. Our friendship has meant so much, but yet there is nothing more than that. I love you romantically. I would love to be with you. I would love to happily be there for you. I would love to be your knight in shining armor. But the only thing I'm ever in is the suit. That gets, you know, dirty and whatnot. Not in armor, nor am I shining. I cannot. It would it would never work. We we are in completely different worlds. And I can't live with that. Knowing that one day you'll You'll end up with someone amazing. Someone wonderful. On the same level as you. Where you can walk side by side with them as equals. I could never. Not even for a second. It's not possible. And while I, I would be happy for you. I, I don't want to be there and see it. I can't bear to see you with someone else. It's selfish. It's wrong. These wicked thoughts, but I can't help it. And it's just going to make things harder for me. And if I'm not at my best, I can't be my best for you. And I can't have that either. So do you understand? I have to go. I cannot stay. You'll be fine. I mean, you may not be the quickest learner, but you've always been patient to listen to what I have to say. You've learned a lot from me. You'll be fine. Princess, please, you have to understand. There was no way I could ever bring this up to you. How, how, could I, how could I have ever brought it up to you? You expect me to just go, Oh, good morning, princess. Rise and shine. Please, when you have prepared yourself, come downstairs. I've made breakfast for you. Oh, and one more thing. I love you, and I want to be with you forever. Was I supposed to do that? My princess, with all due respect, you've gone insane. There's no way I could. Listen. Out of everything, that matters the least. 
It is impossible. There's nothing, absolutely nothing we could do. Don't you understand? You have to. You have to understand. I'm nothing more than your personal servant. I'm no different from all the butlers and the maids that wander around the castle helping you and your family. It could never work. I don't believe that your father would approve as much as much of a nice guy he is. Look. There's a lot a lot that goes into ruling a kingdom. You know? The relationships with other kingdoms and all that. The economy. You know, the security of everyone's lives. I know nothing. I've got no part. I won't be able to do things right. I'm sorry. I know you don't want me to go, but... What? Princess. Princess, you can't, you can't say, you can't say that. You love me too. Please, don't make this harder than it already is. Okay? Just, just forget about this. I'll... I'll tend to your wounds. If you would like, I can request for your doctors and nurses immediately. And we can just go back to the way things were. Just for a bit more. Just for a bit more. Still stubborn as always, aren't you? Here, let me get your tears. You should smile more. I hate to see you cry. Then stay with you. You're going to talk to your father about it. I suppose it's worth a shot, but, but, you have to understand, if, if he's not okay with it, if your family is not okay with it, they don't approve of it, my plan still goes through. I know it's selfish, but, please, do understand. Let's think this through properly together first, all right? I don't want you to do anything rash, and I don't want you to rush into anything without a proper plan, if that's all right with you. Yeah? Okay. But also, for the time being, let me just actually tend to your injuries first. I don't believe it would... uh do too well if uh, we were to talk to your family right now. I love you too, my princess. <laughs>